What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do text to speech with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at text to speech. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so text to speech, what am I talking about? Well, let's say we could type something into a box here, click the button. Hello world. And then boom, you can hear it on the speaker, kind of metallic-y, robot-y sounding, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. So I've got a new file, I called it speak.py. It's just our basic Kinter code using Sublime Text Editor and a Git Bash Terminal as always. And uh, just basic starter code that we always have. So in order to do text-to-speech with Python, it's actually incredibly, incredibly easy. You just have to pip install a couple of things. So let's head over to our terminal, and the, thir and the first thing we need to install is pip install, and then it's py, TTS X three. So Python PY text to speech TTS and then X three. I don't know if it's the third version of it or I don't know, but that's what it is. So let's pip install this. Now I've already got it, so it's already installed, but you'll go through and it installs really quickly. Now that might work for you, but you might also need to install something else. So let's go pip install and just go ahead and install it anyway, even if you may not need it. Uh, let's go PY. WIN32. So this is PyWin32. This just has some things that the uh, PYTTSX3 needs. So, all right, go ahead and cl clear the screen there. And that's really all there is to it. So let's head over to our code. And now we need to import that thing we just installed. So let's just go import. And that's PYTTSX3. Now, don't misspell that. I misspelled it the first time I left off the S, uh, but PYTTSX3. And now we can use this thing. And it's really, really easy to use this thing. We just have to define basically three things. So let's come down here and let's go engine and let's set this equal to PY TTS X three and then we need to initialize it. So let's go dot init and this is a function, right? Now we can say whatever we wanna say by just calling engine dot say and then passing whatever we wanted to say in here. So, so I can paste in some text in here that we wanted to say. And now just to, to run this thing, we have to call engine dot run capital and capital wait, right? And that's it. So if we save this now, head back over here and let's go Python speak dot pi. Use coupon code YouTube one to get all my courses at codemy.com for just $49, which is insanely cheap, right? And this just popped up and it just runs automatically. So that's all there is to it. That is incredibly easy to do just and just that easy. So we can swap this out. We can actually make this into an entry box and then type what we want on the screen and then click a button. So let's do that real quick. Let's create an entry box. Let's just call it my entry. And that's an entry box and it is in root. And we want the font to equal, we don't have to do this, but I always like to make these bigger. So Helvetica. And then let's say size 28 just to make it bigger. And then let's go my underscore entry dot pack to pack this guy on the screen. Let's give it a pad Y of 20 just to push it down a little bit. So now we need a button. Let's go my underscore button and set that equal to a button. And that's in root and we want the text to equal speak. And let's give this a command and we call this anything we want, but let's just call this, uh, I don't know, talk something. So. Now we need to put that button on the screen. So my button dot pack, and let's pad Y that of 20 to push it down a little bit. So now all we have to do is define that function. So let's define talk. We don't have to pass it anything. And now let's just copy all of this stuff into that function. Make sure you're tabbed over here. And then instead of passing in directly some text, we can just pass in my underscore entry dot get and remember this is a function so put your little function brackets on there and that should work and then if we wanted to afterwards delete what's in that box we could always go my underscore entry dot delete and then pass in from zero to end and that should do the trick so okay let's save this and run it and we get this box my name is john elder 
exclamation point. My name is John Elder. And that's it. And then boom, it disappears after it speaks. And that is really all there is to it. So if you want to learn more about this Pi TTS X3, we can head over to Google. And you can just find it here on PyPy.org on another project, uh, Pi TTS X3. And you can see there's some different things you could do, some different, uh, like you can increase the rate here, right? By changing that, right? So if we, for instance, copy this, brought this back over. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. And let's go again. Hello world. Hello world. It's very slow, right? So let's try and speed this up. Let's go uh, 925. I have no idea what this is going to sound like, but man, it's going to be fast. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Hello world. Hello world. All right, so you can play around with that. Uh, there's some other things you can mess around with. The volume, uh, you can put a different voice from male to female. Let's go ahead and try that. So we could just pop this in, save it, run it again. Wait, first let's maybe change this rate thing back to normal. Take the default. Okay, so run it. And let's go again. Hello, world. Hmm, nothing. Voices is not defined. Oh, we have to set the engine property first. So copy this too. And let's pop this in. Okay, so save this and run it. There we go. Hello, world. Hello, world. Hello, world. Female voice. Kind of cool. And you could read the full documentation if you click this link here. All kinds of stuff you could look into. But those are the basics. Those are the most important things that you need to know. So that's text to speech with Python and Kinter. Basically, that's mostly Python. We just slapped it into a Kinter wrapper, right? There's nothing Kintery we're doing with this except for, you know, using a, an entry box to get the text and then turn it into speech. So incredibly, I used to do voice text to speech stuff. 20 years ago, and it was incredibly hard to do. Now we're just importing one little thing, you know, this PyTTX, setting a couple of properties, and boom, it just works. That's incredibly cool. So uh, that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So it made just $49 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, over 40 courses, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.